Hello, this is Arnel of EKG Rhythms. In this post, I will introduce you to the EKG strip if you are new to cardiac telemetry. In most settings, telemetry nurses are given the classic paper strip at the start of the shift. The paper strip is the printout of leads 2 and V1, which is often the default leads. The EKG paper will give you the usual small boxes and big boxes as reference of measurement. The horizontal line is the time reference and the vertical line is the amplitude or size reference. For time reference, the small box is equivalent to 40 millisecond or 0 0.04 seconds. Five small boxes comprise one big box which is equivalent to 200 millisecond or 0.2 seconds. So, two big boxes is equivalent to 0.4 seconds. This time reference is used to measure intervals like PR interval, QT interval, and duration like QRS duration. The EKG paper also have information like the patient's name, the telemetry floor, the room or bed number, the patient ID or medical records number, the telebox number, and the date and time. On the second line will be the paper speed, which is usually 25 mm per second, the heart rate, the PVC count, and ST segment analysis. Not all telemetry systems will display all the data, but most basic data will be displayed. The usual default lead is lead 2 and B1, but you can change it. Now here's a tip. The tiny lines circled here are 3 second markers. This means from the beginning of the strip to the line is 3 seconds. And after that is 6 seconds and so on. The 6 second marker is important in computing for heart rates as seen in the previous post. This is an EKG paper of another telemetry system. Other system will also show mo almost same data like the patient's name, room number, date and time, alarms, heart rate, PVC counts, and paper speed. The default or usual paper speed used is 25 mm per second. A good telemetry strip printout should or must have the telemetry box or monitor or ID number printed on it. This will help bedside nurses check if the patients are in the right telemetry boxes.